Hello everyone, first day happy International Children's Day and uh, today I got my present. So it is a headset that, that is very very hard to get. Firstly they announced it last August and said they will deliver it in December. Then in December they said oh, we will delay it and delay it to February. In February, uh, in, the, in the day that they open open the pre-order. I was fall asleep for 40 minutes and I missed the chance. Then I had to wait till the mid of March. And uh, what happened in that day is was very pathetic. I, like I got the chance to click edit edit my cart, and uh, you know when I finished my payment information, my address, like spent two minutes right before the last step, right before I click place the order it shows out of stock so probably they had like only five headsets so people just rush and get it in one second and they said well we're going to produce more and uh, a lot of inventory will come in late of uh, May so just three days ago I was boring and uh, just refresh the razor you know, you know, I was waiting for this headset so bad, I wanted it so bad, so I had I had the habit that which is refresh razor website daily, you know. Seven times a day I think. And finally I saw whoa adding a cut and I just do it very quick. I did it very quick and uh, well here you go. In the la last day of May I got it. So this is a Razer TM8 7.1 real 7.1 game headset. So, without further further ado, let's open the box. So as Razer promised, at the first time they delay the headset. They'll give makeup uh, for for the long waiting, and uh, the makeup uh, not bad uh, in my opinion, not bad. So I will show the makeup first, then the real thing. Okay, so first there is a uh, Razer Epic T-shirt size L, so which means I can't wear it too large to me, and. Uh, wine bottle, whatever you want to call. This is cool. No, oh, pretty nice build. Rubberized inside, plastic top. This should be aluminum body, I think. Okay. Well. Smells terrible. Let me just put it in the back. I, I want to use it. It was part of my collection. Well, this world is all nasty. So. Let's move to the headset, okay? Okay. Oh, I have to break it. I'll break it. So, the extra box is pretty big. Uh, Let's just check the outside of the box first. So in the front you have the name Tiamat 7.1, some features, 7.1 sur surround sound, for audio customization, uh, maximum comf comfort, on the side some intros, back side is a layout of five speakers on each side, right side is some other information. 
top. You see like this. Okay, hand. You put him. Okay. So another sticker. inside the box well let's open it in this way make sure you can see everything okay this is the uh, actual headset and uh, I'm not sure if you okay you can see uh, I did a little research term it refers to a sea monster in Japanese legend legendary legend and uh, I believe this is what the razor guys think it is. And uh, let's pop it up. We have Tiamat Quick Start Guide. Okay, in English and Spanish, I think. And uh, Must Guide. It's just a detailed uh, user guide. And uh, of course, stickers. Also, we have two interchangeable headset cover. I will show you the function of it later. Let's just get, get it out first. Then move to the headset. Welcome to the Code of Razor. As I say it every time. And uh, let me just get the headset out very gently. Everything can put the box away. Okay, have the headset. Let me just focus a little bit. So what do we have on the headset? A lot of cables. So we have this is the extension cable right here. I will show you the function of it later. And so we have a uh, of all the connections first is a USB cable I believe it's for power supply so you have 10 speakers so you need a uh, little extra power supply and these are the different 3.5mm uh, headphone jack for different channels so it's 7.1 channel you need uh, which you need 5 connections and the head Headset itself. Oh, so this part is kind of. Let me focus. So this part is you can rotate a little bit to fit your hair, fit fit your ears. And you can see the speakers inside. So the cover, the function of the cover which is pretty nice. So they have the magnetic to cover the each side of the headphone and uh, just make it look looks like uh, the 2.1 version. Which on 2.1 version you cannot see inside of the headset. 
And for this part, you probably want to know the material of this part. It, it is plastic. I, I hope it's strong. It's strong enough. And uh, I think the weight they don't want to use like aluminum is to reduce the weight. It's kind of pretty heavy headset. And you have the this layer to increase comfort. And uh, well, we have a retractable microphone here. You can change the shape. And then let's move to the control. But this is the control unit of the TMS sample one. We have the back side, well, Chinese. Uh, so it's made in China, of course. We have this control says, okay, look at this way. Mic volume, uh, mic volume, sub of volume, where side center and front so what what i believe is first you choose which one you want to control okay and use this dial to actually to change the volume and it's can, you can click this i'm not sure the function of it right now but i will show you later and we have like this which i'm not sure now this is 7.1 this had like you can see this has like a microphone icon on it and uh, for this part as I, I mentioned before we which you can use to connect with your 7.1 speaker system so I think which is uh, the middle button for when you want to switch to your speaker system from the headphone to, to speaker you just click here and uh, you don't have to reconnect everything the, this controller will automatically put the signal over to your speakers which is a very nice function because of course for me I have a uh, uh, 7.1 sp speakers well uh, today we also have two special guests one is TMA, TMA's big brother I don't know I, I'm not sure if any of you remember this one it is old very very old Bakuda HP1 headset why I say this is a big brother of the TMA because this is the first 5.1 real 5.1 headset made by Razer and uh, just give you a comparison so this this headset is it's it's sound sound effect is fantastic the the sub move actually shakes your head when when it be activated and uh, when that somebody threw a grenade or a jet fly over by over your head you, the head set really shake your head and uh, but the build quality is terrible I already lose like one bar thing of this and uh, I believe right side right side of this headphone doesn't work anymore. So hopefully Razer after th those many years Razer increases the build quality and the durability of this headphone. And the, the next guest is the Razer camera. So it's also if you if you don't look closely it's all Carefully, it's also a 7.1 headset, but what different is this is a virtual 7.1, which means it's it's only has has two uh two units, two speakers, one in here, one in here. So it's not a real 7.1, but it make up 7.1 to to makes you feel it is real. Uh, why? Because 
this headphone headset is built for consoles. Consoles don't have 7.1 output. So if you you want to ask somebody ask me the camera the camera camera 7.1 which sold for $200 and the new TMA 7.1 which sold for $179.99 which one should you choose? so let's make it clear here if you are running a console by this one, this is a wireless headset you can use it like with your controller and sit 30 feet away from the uh, your TV it still work so it's great for con console and uh, for PC game it's definitely good for this one okay it's have better sound effect it has 10 speakers 5 5 in each side so don't ask me again let's just make it clear this is for console this is for PC okay uh, so next I'm going to hook up this with my PC and uh, get used get uh, have some experience with it and I will, I will talk to talk with you later okay okay I have connect the headphone with uh, my PC now I'm wearing it without playing any music in my computer so now I can't hear any noise in this headphone so which mean which is a good thing it's a good start and uh, just let me show you the headphone uh, first you see these two Razer logo lights and uh, I don't know since when res went to went from blue to green but it doesn't matter and uh, next I want to give a detailed introduce of the control the control unit okay so now it's currently running 7.1 mode which you can tell from here and uh, like I said you can individually control each channel so after you switch to each channel you see the volumes are different so that they are controlled individually okay very smooth turning and uh, in the middle is the overall control and click this is mute okay uh, also you can switch to 2.1 2.1 mode in two on the 2.1 mode you can only change the main, va main volume and uh, this is for microphone mute also you can mute the microphone by switch to the mi microphone control first and uh, turn it all the way down and uh, as I said the middle part is switch to, to speaker so after you click this and uh, if you use the uh, speak out, out, output the sound will automatically switch from your headphone to speaker speakers so I believe that's everything of the headset I can introduce to you and I just give you uh, some sort of why I buy I, I bought this head headset so first if you going to buy this headset you are definitely not looking for sound quality you are not going to use this headset to listen music it it obviously is not the best music headset hi-fi headset you know it's not uh, not good I think it's not even considered a good uh, music headset but it's it is great for gaming it has great uh, how can I explain it's, it's you can you can tell the direction of incoming enemies bullets fly by your head from the headset because it has so many speakers and tell you the different di sound direction of the so sound source and uh, it has a great uh, subwoof and uh, when you watch movies and play, play games it's great and uh, I believe that's everything I have for you today if you have any question just ask me in, in the comment and uh, once again have a nice international children's day and uh, 
See you next time.